Do you remember seeing Mason at the airport? And the whole airport thing is absolutely absurd. That, that, my daughter was upset with you. She walked up to you and said hi, and you went, I gotta go to the bathroom. Never, I, never. I, I go to the bathroom. never. You were at the airport, and your daughter said hi, and she was, like, too busy to stop and talk. You know, Teddy's been taking jabs at me, but don't mess with my kid. I never snubbed your daughter. I don't know she that. She didn't snub you. That's Neil. not how my daughter I, That's completely we ridiculous. Were, I was standing right there. You know how when you're going through the airport and you're rushing to get on a plane and you're traveling with, I don't know, 30 people, you're not just like casually stopping for chit chat. Like she's eating, I wave, hi. And we all waved to her and kept walking as a group. So for me to be singled out, Honest, like, are you on glue? Like, I don't Camille understand this. Camille, this is hearsay. Camille wasn't even at the airport. So, I mean, that was... And of all the people in, I would be rude that. to, like, it would never child, be never. somebody's kid. But, well, Kim was the one who told her, so... Allegedly. I think it was, what can we be mad at Teddy for? And this, I mean, all of us walking by and I'm the one singled out, it's... <laughs>I was lucky enough to marry somebody that at 21, him being 16 years older than me, actually was interested in my opinion. And that was very um, encouraging. I mean, primarily when in our early years, I was involved in the business and the orchestration of um, designing and you know every kind of venue that we had, we did together. I just became involved in everything we do, we do together and we have each other's back. But I mean, you know, when people say, oh my God, your marriage, no marriage is perfect. Of course it's not. 36 years, that's 10,000, what is it? 13,000 days or something. Of course it's not perfect. Men can be complete morons sometimes and so can you. And, um, you know, we take the good with the bad, don't we? You know, but we love each other kind of unequivocally, and um, I'm always looking for somebody I like better, but I just haven't found them yet, <laughs> right, puppy? <laughs> Except for you. <laughs> I love Malibu, but right now, we don't feel safe living there with the place is burnt so well, much. First and foremost, it's toxic. That's it's, why my First of all, it's toxic. Is that why you're not? Yeah, sick? I'm not, it's not like, sick. This is from f***ing smoke. Aaron. Like coughing up like black <gasps> stuff. Yeah, I think we've been to like ten different, maybe more hotels. hotels yeah. and, but it's all right. We were in eleven hotels. We were out of our place for three months. It's unbelievable. Even though the house didn't burn, we lost every. F thing because it's got so much smoke damage and that's fine we're alive and I'm so grateful and our animals got out and everything but it also you know puts a test on your marriage because you know brand new marriage yes, brand new two months into our marriage and Camille and I've talked about this you realize what kind of husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend partner whatever For you sure. have when you go through something really that traumatic because I had never been through something like that. That kind of thing either brings you so close together or, or tears you it's apart. Tr it's true. Up north in Paradise City to see all those people that burned in their oh. cars is horrific. And that could have happened on PCH. On PCH. That's PCH. what happened there. It was awful and I was really scared. I said to him, I don't know if I can do this. I said, I I can handle a lot, but the fires are right here. I have nowhere to go. I don't know how to get out. And he said, just stay behind me. And and we were lucky because, you know, it's it's a lot. Aaron, I know he's looking to adopt Eloise. Mm -hmm. There's also an immigration thing. Mm -hmm. Where's he from? Aaron's from Canada. So I would love for him to have dual citizenship and we're doing my citizenship there too in Canada. That's smart. You may need to move to Canada at some <laughs> point, right? Yeah. And in doing that, we'll also be able to get uh, Sammy and Lola. And Aaron's uh, adopting Eloise. Um, 
We lost a lot of documents in the fire, oh. one being her birth certificate. Really? And we have a closed adoption. It's a tricky process at, when you lose it. We're waiting for her birth certificate, because you need a birth certificate to say you want to adopt the child. Good Lord. But Eloise adores Aaron. She's always grabbing his hand. So she oh looks God. up to him. So happy for her to be able to have a dad. And the older girls have really adapted too. And actually my oldest will, like if I'll say something that might not, she doesn't agree with, she'll say, well, I have a stepdad too that has an opinion and I wanna hear what he says. So, but, and I like that, cause I love that she, sees him that way mm. and so she knows she can count on him and you know they have a good relationship That's with great. him and I'm thrilled about mm. that. I wouldn't have married him if if he wasn't what I would think would be a good role model and a good stepdad and dad to Eloise you know for the girls. Thanks for watching. Click right here to subscribe to the Bravo channel. And click here to watch more videos from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills.